And I'm assuming, Trent Green, you were not surprised by what we saw or did not see. Well, not surprised just because of the conditions. Both these defenses are good. We, we know that. We, we know that the, the Jets especially focus on their defense. A little bit surprised the Texans haven't been able to get much going. Only 63 yards in the first half. But you look at the balance. Both these teams only five first downs. Both these teams only one-third down conversion. A lot of punts in this game. It's going to come down in the second half to protecting the football. Quarterback center exchange will continue to be important. The running backs hanging on to the ball, and then the receivers, not with the tip passes, but securing the passes when they get an opportunity to, because I think the turnover difference here in the second half could have that lasting impact. If you're joining us late, the Texans with no Tank Dell, no Dalton Schultz, two important players on their offense. This kickoff is in and out of the end zone. Touch back to the 25 to the sideline of Melanie Collins. Well, thank you, Kev. Robert Sala felt like his offense did some good things in that first half. He said, we got some explosive plays and we've put ourselves in position to score. We just need to finish drives. And obviously with these conditions, he said ball security will be paramount in the second half. D'Amico Ryan said, we just have to have the mindset that we want it bad enough. He said, we've got to break some runs offensively. And guys, both Nico Collins and Blake Cashman have been ruled out for the rest of this game. Cashman's a good player, Mel. Uh, thank you very much. He has been a part of this Texans defense resurgence. Of course, they know him well here in New York. His time with the Jets. First and 10, 25. Fake the hall, some misdirection, and they go to the tight end right here who catches it, and that is Jeremy Rucker, a former Ohio State tight end who caught passes from the Texans quarterback, C.J. Stroud in Columbus. Gain of seven right there, and the first half resume for the Jets. Well, just like we talked about coming out of the half, neither team doing a lot. It's a lot of punts, a lot of ball security, so hasn't had that big turnover yet. Rucker with just his 12th reception of the season. Second down and three. Beck in the block outside. Garrett Wilson has the first down as he was working on Steven Nelson. The gain is out to the 45. It is a pickup on the play of 14 first down. Well, Zach Wilson recognizes it's bump coverage to the outside man to man and he just throws back shoulder to Garrett Wilson as there's a player down for the Texans right now. Wilson has caught three balls for 37 yards. He was coming into today with a chance to build upon his terrific second year last year a thousand yard season 83 catches 1103 in terms of yards injured player here is Christian Harris for the Texans you can see him getting up and off the field he's the second leading tackler uh, tackler for the Houston defense and they'll give him a chance to catch his breath Henry To'o To'o is in. Green 18, cut. First down and 10. Bowden, the fullback with the block. And downfield, it's caught by Wilson again. He's right in front of Stingley. Makes the catch at the 38. A pickup of 17. Earlier, a catch of 14 on this drive by Wilson. Well, taking advantage of the fact that most of this game has been a running game and not a lot of passing. So on early downs, play action passing, can you can take advantage of that. That's what the Jets have done here now. The, a, a number of throws on first down are already here in this second half. And when you get that, that draws the linebackers up. You get one on one to the outside. Zach Wilson has been very accurate on his upfield throws considering the condition. Wilson now is 12 of 18. He's up. And they've got a whistle and a flag and a false start. Offense, number 17. Five yard penalty. Still first down. That's on Garrett Wilson. Fastest receiver in Jets history to 100 receptions. 20 through 21 games, he's done that. You can see he jumped a bit early, and the flag. And Beckton looks at him and throws his arms up like, why? Why? <laughs> Rucker has caught one for seven. Relson has caught two for 14 and 17. And it's first and 15 from the Texans 43. Wilson. Pressured on the move after Miss Hughes. And down he goes as he is brought down by Grayland Arnold and Desmond King. And it's a gain of three on the play. King makes the stop as Aaron Rodgers watches from the sideline. He's been in constant 
talking Mo with Zach Wilson when the defense has been out there. Kevin, watch this. Watch his left leg. It, it looks like he's going to slide. It almost gets caught and pinned mm -hmm. underneath him. He goes a little juke, and then that left knee buckles. Well, this turf has been criticized, and Aaron Rodgers can tell you all about that. At the second down and 12. Incomplete. With the coverage on the play by Henry To'o To'o, the linebacker and a rookie out of Alabama. On a pass intended for wide receiver Garrett Wilson. Third down coming up. Nathaniel Hackett there trying to dial up the right play here. You got third and long. Need to come up with something just to get you into field goal range. Last time they had a third down around this spot was in the first quarter. Took a big sack to knock him out. Looks like the Texans lining up at the line of scrimmage to bring some heat. With five in the secondary. Third down and 12. They need the 28. Here they come. You called it. He gets away from Grenard. By some time, and the throw caught. Wilson on the move. Working on Petrie. What a throw on the fly. An off schedule completion to the 15 yard line on third and 12. He picks up 25 and a first down for the Jets. Watch the pressure coming off of the side, and he's able to get the spin move and get away. Get to the outside, throwing it back across his body to the middle of the field. Always a dangerous throw, especially in these conditions. But Wilson able to come up with it. Getting down inside near the 15. Hall the back, first and 10. Underneath they go. That's going to be a touchdown. And it's grabbed by Randall Cobb. On his fourth reception of the season and first touchdown is a Jet. And no flags. Cobb will be on a drag route from the left all the way across to the right. Tight ends clearing it out on the front side, then it's your check down. You're looking, up, yeah. you're looking up field, you're trying to push it up the field to your tight ends, but then you have that drag route underneath, you catch him in man-to-man, -man and Cobb able to get it in. That's a play that Aaron Rodgers and Cobb did so well in Green Bay. Just had to throw it away. Second down and 10. Pierce is the back. And the call ran into his own blocker, Dieter, and then he's wrapped up by Quentin Jefferson for minimal game, Mel. Well, Kevin, we spoke to Texans players and coaches about their mentality when it comes to the playoffs. They said, yeah, absolutely, we talk about it. In fact, they said we're treating the season as if playoffs started last week. D'Amico Ryan said every team we play from here on out is vying for the same spot, and he said, as you knock one off, the stakes only get higher, and they know they essentially need to win out. That's a good point. It's a good mindset uh, to have going into this portion of the schedule. Well, it is a good mindset, and, it, and it's one you should have. And when you look at their schedule, it's a favorable schedule. And number one thing, though, is trying to come back and get a win here today. Third down and eight, and from behind, he's sacked again. Third jet sack. And bringing him down, Quinn and Williams. They lose six. And they're pushed back to the 20-yard line. It's fourth down, and Robert Sala likes what that defense is doing. The number nine defense in the NFL. They line up, guys. Listen, they don't bring a lot of pressure. If you look at them, they're one of the least pressure, least blitzing teams. They bring a lot of pressure, but not a lot of blitzing. That time, they bring a fifth rusher, which allows Quinn and Williams to be one-on-one. -on -one. That's not a matchup that works in your favor if you're the guy trying to block him one-on-one. -on -one. Cameron Johnston will run for the Texans. Through the rain it goes downfield and Gibson the fair catch at the 31. 48 yard punt. The Jets defense like we thought at the top would put their fingerprints on this one. And maybe their star down in Sheldon Rankins, a former Jet who has started every game, losing five on the play and it's back to the 26. Well, Cook's shaking up right there, Boy, so he's he going off the field. They try and misdirection. You're fake one way, and then you fake the reverse, and then you shoot the screen out. Texans not fall, falling for it at all. Slow developing play, and as I said, Rankin's in the defense ready. Dalvin Cook. 
Second down 15. Reese Hall takes his place. He's bottom of his screen wide. Beckton block. From behind, he gets away. And it's incomplete. They're throwing to Ruckert. Oh, he got it. He got that ball in the ricochet. Well, he's nearly no, sacked. Wait. Wilson is. And... Well, that was a... Tr yeah, he, he, he got, got it. Yeah, he, he sure got his, did. He got his arm underneath it. It popped up in the air, and he rolled over. Good concentration. Nice grab by Ruckert. Picks up 11 as he rolls on top of Stingley. He was right to get up and jump because he kind of caught it and rolled <laughs> right, right over the yep. defensive back. Now it makes it third down and four. Solid call timeout before delay a game. First of the snap. Charge timeout. Jensen, the first half, had 100 total yards on offense. That first drive of the second half, 75. And they got the 15 yard touchdown pass to the veteran, Randall Cobb. The NFL on CBS streams live on Paramount Plus all season long and right through Super Bowl 58, including next week's excellent matchups. Try it for free today. Jets are trying to stop a five-game losing streak, and you can see what happened in the first half. That last drive was the first possession of the second half for New York. Well, the key on that last drive was a third-down conversion. Only one of seven in the first half. One of one on that first drive. So now trying to get their second third-down conversion. Looks like they're going man-to-man. -man. The Texans are defensively. Now instead of third and manageable it's going to be third and long ball start offense number 63 five yard penalty third down well this has been an offensive line and that was glazier who jumped right there he was just elevated off of the practice squad he didn't start a game a couple weeks ago this is an offensive line which had seven different offensive line combinations second most walking back right there as we saw third down nine Wilson, what a catch. And that's brought down by Conklin. Another nice reception by him. Caught one earlier in this game. And grabs one again right there. And that was a tough one with the coverage of Jimmy Ward. Well, very similar to the play that we saw in the first half where he ran up the seams, up the inside edge of the numbers. He's one-on-one. -on -one. In the first half, it was against a linebacker. This time against a safety Ward. Good physical catch by Conklin coming up with it and getting the conversion. So on the drive, they've gone 11 yards through the air to Rucker. 24 to Conklin. The two tight ends. Brees Hall, first and 10. And then Khalil Davis jumps on his back, and he's down inside the 44. And there's basically no gain on the play. Maybe the length of the football is so a second down. Long nine. Grenard had a hand in it as well. And now he, I don't know if he got some of those pellets up in his eye or not. Looks like. They're going to take a look at his eye, and we know that Dalvin Cook was injured before. Well, it could have been Grenard when he came through. That right hand got up around the face mask, and Bonaconda has come in. Cook is in the tent. Second down, 10. Good time. Here was Anderson on the rush, and it's incomplete to Bowden, the fullback. Well, He's caught two passes. I think they're going to get Anderson with the late hit. Personal foul. foul, roughing the passer, defense number 51. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. Makes it first and 10. Oh. Well, it's a double. He had plenty of time to pull off. He hit him anyway, and then he landed on top of him. So D'Amico Ryan's not happy with that decision. Bonaconda is in the rookie out of pit. He was a fifth round selection. The third running back. He gets the call right here. That's his second rush of the season. 
as he takes it down near the 26 on a gain of three, bringing up second down and seven. He'll check out. Here comes Hall. Cleaned out the eyes. If you watch the Hard Knock series, Bonaconda was featured prominently <laughs> in that, making the team. Very exciting for him and his family as they depicted it well, as always NFL Films does. Second down, seven. Well, there definitely was a level of excitement around this team in training camp with that show. And, and going low, Wilson. And scooping it low was Wilson. And the grab is down to the 21 yard line. It's a pickup of six on the play through the air. Garrett Wilson, six receptions and 85, 84 yards for the Jets today. And Zach Wilson over 200 yards throwing, 18 to 25, and a touchdown. Well, he said the rain wasn't going to affect him, and he's right. He's right. It's uh, <laughs> some impressive numbers. Third down and one. Underneath, Garrett Wilson hurdles a defender on the play, Petrie. And he's down near the nine. He's got the first down, first and goal Jets. And a pickup there through the air of 11 yards. Wilson motions to the outside on the right. Everybody clears out through the middle to take the inside coverage deep. He's just running the drag underneath. Similar to what we saw Cobb do on the last drive when he got the touchdown. Hauls the back first and goal. Gibson. Waited nicely for the block from Conklin. Touchdown, Jets. A nine-yard touchdown run by New York gives him a 13 to nothing lead on a good-looking drive. Well, it's all about leverage and maintaining leverage. You're going to see this collapses down, so there's no outside presence. Now, all of a sudden, you have two blockers and two defenders. That's the advantage for you, and that's why they're able. Harris is out there getting late, getting there late. But because no edge was set, he was able to get around to the outside, and then Defense has no chance. Zerline, 14 to nothing Jets. Xavier Gibson, a rookie free agent from Stephen F. Austin. His first touchdown running by the Jets. And it was put in by the rookie free agent wide receiver, and Nathaniel Hackett, celebrating the call. It's the largest lead of the season for the Jets. And it's the first time all year they've scored in back-to-back -back possessions, both coming from halftime. Cobb on a 15-yard touchdown reception on the first possession of the second half. Well, it's the most points the Jets have had since week six, eight weeks ago. Here's the crossing route by Cobb, the first touchdown of the game. Zach Wilson with the little sidearm to get it out in front of him. Run after catch, and then the big third down conversion to Conklin up the numbers, and then Gibson on the outside. Getting it into the end zone, as you said, Kevin, taking a 14-point lead. Running back is Damian Pierce. Stroud, 6 of 13 for 28 yards. Walk outside, Fance, and Pierce brought down by Jordan Whitehead on a gain of four, and they're out near the 28. Well, the Jets' defense coming into this game, 28th in the NFL in rushing defense as we take a look at the quarterback numbers but the Jets defensively 28th in the NFL giving up rushing yards today 64 yards by the Texans on a day where everybody knows you're going to try and run the ball with these wind condition wind and rain conditions as we mentioned before Stroud has the most passing yards in the NFL coming into week 14 and it's knocked away sauce Gardner jumping right in front of John Mechie nice play on the long reach by Sauce Gardner. It's third and six. Well, Gardner in the trail position, just almost like he's baiting him to try and undercut it. Can't stress enough. Number one passing, CJ Stroud, most yards passing in the NFL coming into this game. 
but no Tank Dell. Nico Collins went out after the first series. No tight end Dalton Schultz. And of course the rain hasn't helped it either. Third down and six. They were going for Mechie. It was broken up beautifully by the starting safety, Tony Adams. It's three and out for Stroud in the offense. Upcoming will be their eighth consecutive punt. A little bit behind Metsy as he's not able to come up with it. Good series by the Jets defensively. Cameron Johnston to punt. Weeks with the long snap. Gibson is back and he'll go for the fair catch at the 20 yard line. The second half by the Jets. And it's Hall diving on first down and 10. Not a lot of wiggle room. Down he goes. Petrie had a hand in it. Also, Jimmy Ward. Let's take a look at Next Gen Stats, powered by AWS. Well, we're going to focus it on Zach Wilson and what he's been able to do today. Look against zone coverage, 159 yards, 15 to 19, but equally as impressive against man coverage from a completion percentage standpoint. Number seven. Heck of a game by Zach Wilson, getting an opportunity after being benched the last couple of weeks, coming out here in a driving rain and putting up those kind of numbers, building a 14-point lead. Extra offensive lineman in, second down and six. They come off the edge. He takes advantage with Conklin, who is met by Petrie and driven out, but he's got the first down on a gain of seven on second down and six, and he moves it to the 29. They're going to the tight ends a lot today. Well, they're going to have to. They're going to have to, and they're, and they're going to have to. The Texans are going to have to continue to try and bring extra players and bring pressure, which ultimately is going to leave some opportunities from a matchup standpoint for the Jets. If you decide the tight end's a good matchup against whoever it is they're trying to cover them with, and we've seen them both against linebackers and against safeties. Six receptions by Jet tight ends today. First and ten. Dumped off to Hall. Screen pass. Looking for blocking. Dances his way. Diving for the first down. Pass the 40. And he picks up 10, Mel. Look, well, Kevin, update on Jets running back Dalvin Cook. He was being evaluated for a shoulder injury in the Blue Medical Tent. We know he had shoulder surgery in February of this year, so he's dealt with shoulder issues. In the past, I'm told he is probable to return to this game, and he's back out on the sideline with his helmet on. So looks to be good to go to return. Mel, thank you very much. And he just came back in. As soon as we get that report, out he goes. Started today. Dalvin Cook. In the first and ten, Cook with the block. There goes the scrambling Wilson, another first down. Falls the ball, it's loose. And it looks like the Houston Texans have gotten it. They have fumbled 25 times. They lose their 13th. Wilson fumbles it away, his sixth. On a drive that was taking them again into Texan territory. They bring pressure off the slot with the secondary blitz. Anderson makes him step up. King isn't able to get it done. You can see the ball comes loose before he hits to the ground. Harris is the one that knocks it out. It's the first turnover of the game. It's the 25th fumble by the Jets. And they lose their 13th. Well, Wilson's done such a good job all day protecting the football, both in the passing game and protecting the ball from a fumble standpoint while in the pocket. That time it just gets loose as he's trying to be aggressive and go for the first down. Setting up good field position for the Texans. Texans have had four three and outs the last five drives to the air Stroud, and he's got his receiver, and that is Beck. He's the tight end, and he's driven out of bounds by Quincy Williams. A big play cashing in at about the 31 of New York with the catch and run by Beck, his sixth reception of the year. Beck is lined up on the left, and with the movement and the fake handoff underneath, he gets lost as he's going across the field. The Jets defensively just lose track of him, able to get a big completion down near the 30. And the Texans are in Jets territory for the first time today. Mechie on the move. Stroud with the first and 10. He'll get it out now to his tight end. Brevin Jordan, room to roam. And inside the 10-yard line he goes. 
and driven out of bounds with a catch and run as we wind down this third quarter of 23 yards. And it's first and goal for Houston. Keep an eye, 81. It's going to go on a corner route here. They miss the touchdown. He gets behind the defense. That's what allows Jordan to get so wide open is they realize they've let him go. So two guys are recovering, trying to get up the field, and they turn their back on Jordan. So the little flat route ends up turning into a big game. Ashton Davis drove him out. Singletary the back, first and goal. Stroud, shovel pass. It's incomplete. Second down and goal and five seconds to play in the third. Trying to get the little shuffle pass underneath Johnson. He's able to get his hand on it. Comes up the field. Just right there. Just a little bit of a fingertip on it. If Singletary gets that ball, he's getting in the end zone because he had the blockers in front of him. Rain has let up considerably. Wind has not yet arrived. It is on the way. Second down and goal. Stroud. Here comes Huff. On the move, Quinn Williams. Oh, and it's a wobbly throw, and it's incomplete. And there goes the flag. They were going for Brown with the coverage by Adams. As zeros are on the third quarter clock. And Noah Brown is in the sights of the scrambling Texans quarterback. Well, oh, and Adams just lost track of the ball. Brown went to escape and break off of his route and work the back line, and Stroud just puts it up. Adams not being aware of where the ball is. Easy call for the officials. There are two fouls in the play, both by the defense. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 95. That penalty is declined. Pass interference, number 22. Foul occurred in the end zone. Ball to ball. Automatic. First down. Well, this Jets defense has the most roughing the passer penalties, but you heard that one was declined. They took the one in the end zone. Here was the roughing by Williams. 